Hi there, it's Wayne here from Deep Blue Apps. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of a new application um, called GS Breakout Builder. Um, it's actually a tool we built to design some levels for Kikos 2D applications, um, but we've managed to change it so it works with Game Salad. Not sure about performance overall in Game Salad, but it's a bit fun. Um, the app is completely free, so you can all have a bit of a play with it. Okay, let's just fire it up. Okay. Alrighty. So the first thing you see is we actually get a grid. And this is basic. We've locked it to iPad portrait. Um, obviously, in the future, there's a lot of requests, a lot of interest in it. We may, we may change it. Um, so the actual size, you can actually change how you want to see it laid out. So here we go. So this has been my iPad screen, and these are the cells um, that the ball will be able to hit. So quite simply, select some colours. There we go. And blue. Red, like so. There we go. So the idea is you can just build up your colours super quickly, um, and build a um, breakout game. So if we say yeah, we're happy with that. We can export this out to Game Salad. Open it up in Game Salad. That's all we got. Yeah. Run that, and there it is. So basically our level has been converted into a game seller project, uh, kind of basic, very straightforward. I'm not saying it's going to win any awards. You're welcome to copy the art if you want to upload it to the App Store. Um, but we have done a few other little tricks in the um, Breakout Builder application, so I'll show you some of the more of the tricks we can do. Okay, so I'm just going to reset this now. Um, you can actually control, like I said earlier, the grid size. So if I make the grid a little bit bigger, say, I don't know, um, 50 by 50, okay. We can actually obviously got more we can actually do, so we can actually do a bit more fancy, more fancy game. Um, there we go, so a bit of a house. Obviously, had a bit more time. I'm just trying to give you a quick demo of it. So, so there's a house, yeah. And um, we can say export that. Right, so I go. Here we go. Oof, oof, oof. Yeah, so very basic, uh, completely free. <laughs> um, not sure about how the performance would be on an iPad uh, actually running. Not actually tested it. Um, like I said, the, the program was originally developed um, for us to develop some levels in Code Course um, 2D. Uh, we thought it might be of interest to others. However, we have gone a bit further, so I'll get rid of this design. What you can actually do is you can actually load in a design um, from Photoshop or Preview or wherever you, you put your image, and it'll actually get remapped to this particular grid we're looking at here now, or however big the grid is. So if I load an image in, for example, say this lady, okay, smiling lady, nicely named, and it's a iPad portrait size. If I bring that in now, it'll get pixelated according to all the cells and it'll automatically build the actors etc. Um, so again, let's build this in game setup and see what we get. It's a bit more interesting. I'm just going to swallow my coffee while this is doing. Yeah, very nice, very good. Come on. And done. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Obviously, there's a lot of actors on the screen now in Game Seller, and Game Seller doesn't 100% like that, but it's been faithfully reproduced, the lady all pixelated. There we go, we can start knocking into it. <laughs> so. I'm sure some of you can get creative with your designs. And oof. Yeah, so very simple. Get rid of that. Now what we did we also just give you a bit of control. You can actually say how many hits it takes to destroy each of the blocks and how many points you get for hitting each of the blocks. Um, so you can customize it um, if you like. Um, and again, if there's a lot of interest, we will expand it to where we got to with the um, the other interface we actually worked on. Um, so, another example, load image, 
Oh boy. There you go. Let's run that. It's just processing through. Now one thing to point out, the black um, doesn't get registered as an actor. So anything that's totally solid black won't come through as an actor. And that's where the ball will travel through. So everything else will be a hit for the ball. So let's just see this one build through. And done. Let's see what Bowl Boy looks like in uh, Breakout Game Solid. Obviously, you can edit the project afterwards and do what you like to do. Like with it. this is just a very quick demonstration. Uh, Bowl hits the net and the score going up. <laughs> yeah, so. Face gone. Very good. Okay then. So now we can change the grid here, and we could get silly. So we can a lot more high definition. Um, reload an image and say an alien's head. But this is telling us we've got 3,821 actors that will be created in game server. Now that may be too many. Um, I've no doubt this tool will create. Um, the game seller project, but whether the game seller project will then run, I really don't know. I've not tested it with this many. Um, like I say, it's a free tool, it's a bit of fun. Um, the actual pro tool we actually worked on, um, sent it out to a different language, as I said earlier. Um, but but yeah, a little bit of fun. Download it if you want, have a play with it, give us some feedback. Enough interest in it, we may even adapt it and take it even further, um, let you build levels, etc.